Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Andra and I'm a Hungarian graphic designer who is also a makeup enthusiast. Hence why this makeup look. You might have already seen this one, only difference is I have a different colored lip on. But if you haven't, I'll link it up in the corner for you, because this look was created by the Beauty Bay X Nikki Tutorials collab palette. And this is my second time trying this palette and playing with it, and I think it came out really good. Today's video is not going to be about this tutorial, it's actually a way older video. You will see by the background that I'm having, because obviously if you've seen the previous videos and you've like caught up with everything that's going on, my room is different, the walls are painted differently and I have a different door. <laughs> so in the tutorial that I'm going to show you, everything is different in the background, but don't mind it. It's just a reminder that that video was filmed a while back and I've edited it and all but didn't have time to actually record a voiceover for it and I don't have an intro and an outro for it. So here we are. <laughs> it's going to be a dark, sultry look which was actually inspired by Beard Bean or Betty Bean which I'm going to pop here on the screen for you. I'm going to be using three palettes to create this look because I simply couldn't do it otherwise but if I have the shades to use then why not? So I'm going to be using the Feet on the Ground palette by Made by Mitchell, the Me, Myself and Mitchell collab palette by Beauty Bay, which was limited edition, so you cannot get it anymore. And last but not least, I'm going to be using the Beauty Bay Big of Magic palette. I'm going to put all the shades that I use in this tutorial on the screen for you, so I hope it won't be confusing. So without any further ado, I hope you enjoy. So, hi, let's jump right into it. I've already primed my eyelids with my MAC paint pot and I'm starting with the shade Decent from the Made by Mitchell Feel on the Ground palette on this round blending brush and I'm placing this in my crease and outer corner first. Then I'm grabbing another tapered blending brush and with a mixture of Modest and Mr. Age from the Me, Myself and Mitchell palette, I'm going to blend out the grey. I'm only mixing these two because I didn't have the exact shade that I was looking for. Then I'm going back in with the grey to intensify it a little. After that, I'm grabbing a slightly smaller and denser blending brush to grab the black from the Beauty Bay Book of Magic palette, which is hella pigmented. <laughs> so I'm going in with a light hand and packing this into my outer corner, carrying it slightly into my crease as well. Because it was much more intense than I anticipated, I'm going back in with the mixture of the lighter shades and the grey on the same blending brushes to soften the black. After I'm satisfied with the blend, I'm putting down some glitter primer on this NYX flat brush to cut my crease. Then I'm starting with this rosy copper shimmer called Meaty and putting it all over my lid. Then mixing it with Moonlight, which is a perfect silver from the Book of Magic palette. After I've repeated the process on my other eye, I'm going back to the same shades to soften the shimmer's edges because I simply didn't want to precisely cut crease this time. Mm -hmm. 
Continuing on by grabbing the black and tapping off the excess first, of course, because it's very intense. Together with the help of the grey, I'll blend the copper shimmer into my outer corner. Then, moving on to my lower lash line, I'm grabbing a flat shader brush and I'm laying down the mixture of the two lightest mattes first. Then, on a little pencil brush, I'll use the grey and then the black to deepen the outer part of my lower lash line. So, this is how my eyes look like after all the blending. I think I'll be doing my face silently, but I'll be showing you all the products I'm using. There you are. Man, I still love this highlighter. The glow is incredible. Just look at it. After I'm done with my face, I'm going back to blow up the blend around my eyes to make it melt into my concealer a bit better. After doing my brows and putting mascara on, I'll be fixing everything with my Maybelline Lasting Fix. Shake it till you make it! Most beauty gurus have an electrical fan to dry their faces with, but I'm broke, so I'll be using a paper fan for that purpose instead. Now let me tell ya, it works just as well, and it's pretty too. I was contemplating between a black and a cold nude, but the tones just screamed for a nude this time, so my lipstick today is Deceased by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. And this is the finished look! So, there you have it! <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. While you're at it, hit the bell to get notifications of all my future uploads. Follow me on Instagram, I have two pages, I have an art page and a makeup page. I still take commissions, so write me an email if you'd like to commission me. Also, you can find my prices on my Instagram pages as well. If you'd like to own anything I created, I do have a Redbubble page. And if you'd like to see more of my works, I do have a portfolio on artstation.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!